Arrête. Le 2, le 3, le... Now that we recognize how particularly vulnerable women have been to the pandemic, not necessarily in terms of being the, the largest number of people that are getting infected and dying, but because of the multifaceted um, impacts on the, based on their role in life and on, on their uh, pre-existing, um, if you like, the power gaps, or the, the, the economic situations. I, I think if we're going to look for resilience, it can't just be resilience in clinics and in labs. We need to think about women's resilience and how to build that up and invest more in those interventions and programs that are aiming to build that up. We run many programs, but if the programs can work together and be synergistic in dealing with her risks, her needs for information, needs for care of certain types, you know, that's, uh, that's what I tried to think of. So the most disadvantage, will it work? Will they be able to afford? Will it be accessible? Will they be empowered to go and seek it? Will they have access to the information that's important? We know that uh, gender-based violence went up tremendously in some countries. You know, rape and sexual uh, abuse of women, young girls, went up a lot because everybody was locked up at home, children not going to school and so on. So from the health side, I believe it's been difficult for everyone, but particularly difficult for women. And then secondly, if you look at women's roles in families of caregiving for families, first looking at the sick people in the family, child, uh, child care is generally given by women. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. No, okay. That's fine. I'm, I'm very happy to be the first woman to occupy this position. And at the same time, I feel then a need to demonstrate through what I achieve that, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking forward to the day when It'll no longer be notable that there's a woman leading an organization when it will have become part of the norm that either a woman or a man can lead an organization. So I feel a huge sense of being privileged, being proud. You know, that resonates with so many yeah, people and um, the challenge of being a woman in the world. I'm very happy to say at the moment I have um, a senior management team here where if we're in the room together with the regional director, there are five women and four men in the room. So I, I've kind of managed to bring on board some excellent women colleagues. <laughs>